Dr. Susan Bernstein, and I am so, so, so excited. I have been wanting to share the um, mind-body techniques that I've been gathering for years uh, with you. I actually have this notebook here that I've been keeping. Oh, it's a little hard to see. I've been keeping this notebook um, of ideas since 2002, uh, the year after I started my PhD in mind-body psychology. I realized that when we shift our bodies, we can shift our minds. And I'm gonna actually share a practice with you today of doing that. Um, just wanna really welcome everybody. Um, I wanna share that if you want a sensational life, uh, well, I first wanna welcome you to Mind Body Mondays with Dr. Susan, and these are micro shifts, which I'll explain in a moment, for resilient leaders. And this is episode one want a sensational life, pay attention to your sensations. Um, for those of you who I haven't had the chance to meet either online or in person, I'm Susan Bernstein. I'm an executive coach and leadership consultant, and my mission is to help you master the strategy and psychology to elevate your leadership. And this is mind-body psychology that I'll be sharing today, how to use your mind and body together. To find out more about me, you can go to www.drsusanbernstein.com. Um, today, I want to talk about micro shifts, and micro shifts um, help you to be more resilient. I believe that <laughs> all of us need resilience. All of us need that ability to recover from stress quickly, and especially leaders. You get disappointing news uh, about one of your employees. You find out you didn't get a promotion. You find out that there's a big problem that you never anticipated on your hands. All kinds of things like that, you know, can make us feel like really emotional, really stressed out. So I want to give you tools that you can use to recover really quickly. So each Monday, I'm going to share a micro shift. And what I mean by micro shift is a quick way under five minutes and often under one minute for you to recover from stress. So they're all simple mind body practices that you can use anytime, anywhere. And the good news is that no one needs to know you're doing them. And I plan to keep each of these episodes 15 minutes or less, and most of them five minutes or less. So um, you can join me every Monday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific on Crowdcast. And I'll share with you a little later in this, uh, in this, in this Mind Body Monday how you can connect. Um, so I want to say that it, there's something that happens when we use our bodies, when we shift in our body that helps our mind to come to ease. So let me just go back and I'll share with you. This week's micro shift, this week's micro shift is if you want a sensational life, pay attention to your sensations. It's a little bit clever. It's something that I've said probably 10 years ago for the first time, and it stuck with me, it stuck with people who I coach in my executive coaching practice, that if you want a sensational life, you want your life to be amazing, you want your leadership to be amazing, you want to pay attention to your sensations. So what do I mean by that? Well, I want to actually run a little tiny experiment with you right now. I want to invite you to hang your head and look at your feet. And then really let your shoulders slump. Like, ugh, just slump. And notice, hold yourself in this posture for a moment. It may actually be hard to just look at your feet, hang your head, let yourself slump, let your shoulders slump, and notice how you feel when you do that. Do you feel excited? Do you feel uplifted? Do you feel anxious? What do you feel? Okay, stop that. And then I want you to come up and I want to invite you to stand as tall and straight as you can, not efforting a lot, but using your, you might hold in your pelvic muscles or your abdominal muscles a little to get some lift and um, pull upwards. I'm going to move the camera down just a smidge. Um, so, and let your, let your chin be level and look up, look up, just like you're looking up at something wonderful, but
but looking up with a kind of a diagonal to it. So, you know, out there, up and out. And pull your shoulders back just a bit. And notice what happens in this posture. What happens to your energy? What happens in your emotions? You probably feel different, right? So you can just let that go. This is a tiny experiment that I've just run with you, a little micro shift that says that when you change your posture, you can actually change your mood. So when you're having a tough time, notice if you start to hang and that feel that hanging feeling and notice the sensation and notice if you're heavy or you're light and notice if you feel tight or loose. And notice if you feel warm or hot or you feel cold or cool. These are sensations that give your body indications of what's happening. And you can make micro shifts in those. Now, you probably can't usually change your temperature really quickly. But you can change if you're feeling tight in your shoulders. You know, you can loosen them up. You can loosen up your neck. You can wiggle and jiggle. And we'll talk a little more about that in a future episode. But the micro shift I want you to start to pay attention to is being aware of what sensations you've got in your body. And especially noticing the sensations related to your emotions. So if your sensations are giving you indications that you're tight or tense or you're um, feeling heavy, weighed down, what can you do to change those? And some of the simplest shifts that you can get a new sensation from are standing up straight or sitting up straight, lifting your chin, lifting your eyes. There's something about literally getting uplifted. So that's today's sensational shift. That's the micro shift I wanted to share with you. And I'll be sharing a lot more. Each week I've got one for you. And if there's some particular thing that you'd like to hear me share about, like you've got some kind of difficult, stressful thing in your leadership, and you want a shift for that, I'd love to have a reason to talk about it. So please feel free to email me anytime at hello at drsusanbernstein.com. So I also just want to share that you can reach me weekly. Uh, You can join me for Mind Body Mondays. That's 9.30 a.m. Pacific on Mondays. Uh, for micro shifts for resilient leaders. These little shifts will keep you resilient and they're tiny little things that no one has to know you're doing. Uh, Changes in posture, changes in movement, changes in eye gaze, little things that I'm gonna share with you that you can change to make a big difference. And then my Wednesday webcast is also at 9.30 a.m. Pacific on Wednesdays and that's Leadership Lessons with Dr. Susan. And if you want to stay in touch and know when all of these are coming up, you can find me at crowdcast.io forward slash Dr. Susan Bernstein. Again, crowdcast.io forward slash Dr. Susan Bernstein. And if you would like support with becoming the leader you'd like to be, I offer executive coaching and I'd love to help you. So you can always email or call me to apply for a complimentary consultation. I'll ask you some questions about what's going on in your leadership. We'll see if we're if it's worth us having a conversation about the support you're looking for. And then we'll jump on the phone for at least 30 minutes to talk about what's happening in your leadership. And I'll always give you ideas and solutions and we can explore a potential coaching relationship. You can do that with me at hello at drsusanbernstein.com or in the US, call me at 415-508. 8250. I do have clients outside the US. I've been really happy, work, happily working with somebody in France of late, uh, worked with somebody in England recently. So um, just put a one in front of the number here for international calls. Anyway, it's a pleasure getting to spend this time with you. I hope you enjoyed today's initial um, Mind Body Monday and that you got something out of the micro shift. And always feel free to drop me a note at hello at drsusanbernstein.com. Let me know how uh, this webcast is impacting you and share it with your friends, please. Thanks so much and have a wonderful week.